guys and welcome back to my next cat. So as you can see by the title, you know what I'm going to do today is going to until a phone and yep, I'm one of those people. I wrote what bad stories when I was a teenager and today I'm going to expose myself. Reading my cringy what bad stories. So yeah. <laughs> so as you can see here, here are my works. I think I'm just going to start reading the, the first one that I've ever posted and this is like a little, let me just tell you something, it's based on my teenage life a little, but yeah. Um, this one has 2000 views, so the summary is, did you know the perfect love life that every teenage girl dreams of doesn't always come true? I'm really dramatic. <laughs> Kate has found out the hard way. She doesn't have the typical teenage love life like in movies. Duh, of course, movies are so fiction, but anyway. Stay with Kate as she experienced some good things and some mishaps in her teenage love life. Will she have the perfect teenage love life that every teenage girl dreams of? <gasps> okay, uh, let me know in the comments if you will read this, like when you just heard the summary. Would you click on the story to read it and see that really cringy thumbnail I made for the book? My dear love life? Question mark. Chapter one. Hi, I'm Kate. I'm 15 years old, living with my parents and my twin sister named Jade. We are best friends, but we have totally different styles. Her style is cool, rock, edgy, and at the same time a little girly, and my style is cute, curly, and sportive. So yeah, did you know the perfect love life that every teenage girl dreams of doesn't always come true? I found out the hard way. I've been blocked on Facebook by my crush named Ian for no reason. A boy named Jack didn't want me to be in a relationship with a boy named Carl, so he planned something to never let that happen. And at the time, I thought that he did what was best for me because Carl was an idiot and Jack was my friend. I knew that Jack had a crush on me since seventh grade, but I thought he got over me because he flirted with my close friends. But. Boy was I wrong. I never had a crush on him and a lot of girls find him hot. It was summer vacation and I was a little sad because I fell for two idiot guys. But my sister Jay cheered me up and told me, don't worry, I have a feeling that you're going to meet a cute and nice guy that will transfer to our school next school year. Oh, whoa, uh, um, wait. Will transfer to our, to our school next school year from the Netherlands. Ooh. And guys, guess what happened? Yep, that happened. I'm now in 10th grade and, and let's see what my teenage love life has in store for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, you know what? I'm going to keep a level of cringiness for all the stories I've written. So let's say um, from a scale from 1 to 10, I think this was definitely a level 9 cringe. I'm going to skip to my next story because this is getting long but it's, it's dory it's going it's going to be more it's going to be more juicy soon my second story I think I've ever published was a thriller one it's called an unpleasant surprise funny fact about this story is I literally dreamt the first part and then I thought you know this has to be a story so I wrote it down and of course i did a lot of editing and also another fun fact about this is i finished this story so this story is completed and i'm really happy about that it has 8,000 views that's uh mind blowing because i never thought 8,000 people would click on my story and read it but as you can see here also this is the thumbnail i didn't make this thumbnail i think um one of my friends here on Wattpad made it. So let's read the summary so you guys know what it is about. So, so this is the story of Angela, a 16 year old girl who has a best friend named Abby and a family that loves her. She had a good life until one cold winter night in December. Ooh. The time of the year that is supposed to be wonderful and joyful turns into a nightmare. She's kidnapped by a group of guys that call themselves the bloody hell mates. Rich, spoiled, dark and psychotic, you can describe these guys. Angela thought that they found the one, but it turned out they want more. Now is her best friend in danger. 
Can Angela keep Abby safe from these dark twisted games? Will Angela see her family and friends again? Will someone save her or will she be stuck with this dark twisted group for eternity? Read Angela's story to find out. Ooh. Okay, let's read the first chapter. An unpleasant surprise. Guys, you wouldn't believe what happened to me. I'm Angela by the way and I'm 16 years old. I'm a normal teenager who... Wait, let me rephrase that. I was a normal teenager who went to school. I have a best friend and a family who cares about me, but gosh knows where my family was when it happened. Still, Abby and my family mean everything to me. Abby and I are like peanut butter and jelly. Okay. We, are so, we are so opposite of each other, but we blend well together like peanut butter and jelly. You can say that a brat portrays the bond of her friendship. She's brave and breaks sometimes the rules. Unlike her, I'm shy and I always follow the rules. So you can say that I'm more angelic. Now you're thinking, what happened to me? Well, I can tell you that I was kidnapped by some psychotic twisted people who think that they can get everything they want. They told me gosh knows where. Those were the most awful days of my life. I just want to forget what happened on those dark eerie days. That's why I wrote everything down of this nightmare. They say, if you want to get something out of your system, Write it down. So I did just that. So here you go. This is my story. Wow, intense. It all started when I was standing by a doorway. Oh, by the way, by the way guys, trigger warning. If you've ever been kidnapped or if you don't like reading kidnap stories, don't read this book or skip this part. It all started when I was standing by a doorway saying goodbye to my piano teacher on a cold winter night in December. Bye, Mr. Woods. I'll see you next week. I said with a smile on my face to the tall man that was standing right in front of me. Bye, Angela. Are you sure you want to walk home? It's getting dark and it's looked like it's going to snow. I can give you a ride, he said politely. Don't worry, Mr. Woods. My home is only two blocks away and I don't mind a little exercising. I was sitting on the piano chair for an hour, but thank you for the offer. I said with a polite smile. No problem, Angela. Okay, bye then. Make sure you are home before it starts to snow, though, he said sternly. Okay, I will. Bye. I said with a promising tone and waved at him. I started walking towards my house. It wasn't that cold, so I got my blue iPod Nano from my, from my pocket. Put my earplugs in my ears and shuffled my iPod. Oh my gosh, iPod. If you have an iPod, let me know. Childhood. Okay. It landed on We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together by Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, I've been a, been a Taylor Swift fan since then and still am. As I was jamming to the song, I didn't notice a black jeep parked in front of my house. I heard the sound of a door closing, but I didn't pay much attention to it. When I passed the jeep to enter my yard, someone suddenly grabbed my right arm tightly. Confusion and fear washed over me instantly. I didn't look at who the culprit was as I tried to yank my arm from his grip, but it didn't work. Because of his strong grip, I could tell that he was the opposite sex. He was holding my arm too tight. He turned me around with force to face him. Because of the spin, my iPod Nano went flying into the air and it fell on the ground. I was now face to face with the gloomy dark figure wearing a black mask. He had a mischievous mirror plaster on his face. I surpassed the level of afraid. I was now terrified. I tried again to get out of his strong grip, but he pushed me towards his chest and held my tiny hands tightly in his back in his big hand. Tiny white dots started falling down from the sky and blurred my vision. My vision became blurrier by the second as the white dots were increasing in quantity. I looked up at the sky and thought, what a great time, Mr. Castigli. I attempted to get out of his strong grip once more by trying to kick him anywhere, but suddenly I was faced with a wet, soft cloth covering my nose and mouth. Instantly, my senses caught the strong smell of chloroform and it started to cloud my head. I felt that my legs would give in any second. Before everything went dark, I heard him say, sweet dreams, Angela. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, that was the first chapter. I have more works, as you can see, uh, Brotherhood, The Mystery of the History Museum, Just Another Crime Story coming soon. A Song to Remember, uh, I'm Falling for a Dream, guys. So I have a few more works, and also I have more chapters like, look, uh, 
uh, unpleasant surprise has 18 parts so if you want to do part two on this video let me know because you know what i really like making this video and also filming this video let me know in the comments below if you would definitely want to watch a part two hopefully you guys like this type of video if you made it till the end let me know in the comments below what was your favorite part of one of the stories and oh i forgot to set my cringe level for my second story so because i edited it a lot it is it wasn't that cringy anymore i think the peanut butter and jelly part was really cringe and i will give that an eight but overall for the first chapter i think it's more intense and i will give it a four so and let me know you can just uh critique my work and just say how cringy it was in the comments i don't mind at all i was a teenager and you write about everything if you like this type of video uh give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel it would mean a lot thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next video bye